I bet you didn't know that a star explosion could light up our night sky. Meet T. Corone Borealis, also known as the Blaze Star. It's a binary star system, 3,000 light years away, gearing up for a spectacular show. This rare event, called a nova, happens when the Blaze Star's white dwarf gobbles up hydrogen from its red giant companion. The result? A thermonuclear explosion visible to the naked eye. The last time this happened was in 1946, and this summer, it's set to shine as bright as the North Star Polaris. Imagine looking up and seeing a new star suddenly appear. This once-in-a-lifetime event could inspire the next generation of astronomers. So keep your eyes on the night sky. The Blaze Star is about to steal the show. My telescope is ready and it's pointing to uh, Polaris right now. And the first step it's going to be to do a quick star alignment. I will be using Dubak. <laughs> I always pronounce it right, but actually it says here Dubak. Let's just see how we do. And go, baby, go! <laughs> okay, so now it's time to switch to a different program, which is going to be SharkCap, which is the one where I can see live what I'm doing. And pretty quick, I am going just to connect here my camera, and it should be all good. Uh, yes, um, and I believe this may be my star, but I need to confirm this. Oh, look at that. Okay, so um, let's see. I want to be sure. Actually, I am right on. <laughs> I didn't have to do any manual adjustments. Now what I need to do, I'm just going to move the star more to the center. This telescope, it's a Newtonian telescope. A Newtonian telescope, they work the very old, old technology, but they work with mirrors, so everything is uh, backward. In 1668, Isaac Newton revolutionized telescopes with his Newtonian design. He used mirrors instead of lenses. This allowed images with unprecedented clarity. My first attempt to find the star uh, was not a good one. I confused the name of the star with the, uh, another star that it's in the area. So when I sent the telescope, I was so excited and there it goes. And it was a perfect landing, but it, no, definitely that is not the star. Okay, so I have to do a second star alignment, and this time it's with Vega. <laughs> How can I miss Vega? And uh, I think now I am going to sync again with Vega, and this is where I am. And now I think I'm going to be right because I was a little bit off. And a little bit off here, it's big up there. So now let me just go ahead and send the telescope to the uh, Great Star Cluster in Hercules. Okay. So there it goes, we're moving again. Now uh, I should be able to see the star cluster. Oh, yes. Uh, okay, excuse me. Uh, I think I know how to do this. Okay, so we are seeing what a beautiful star cluster. I photographed it so good like two years ago. Now this is um, my third uh, stargazing exploring session. <laughs> and I normally don't do as much as this. I photograph right away, but I want to take a look at some of the uh, stars on the uh, uh, Corona Borealis constellation and one of the uh, famous stars is the Nusakan and it's this one right here so let's just go ahead and send the telescope there and let's take a look oh yes that's it right there and as you can see um, <clears throat> right here behind me the telescope it's pretty up straight so this is a this is a difficult position for the uh, telescope and that is Nusakan. Uh, let's just go ahead and move to Alfika or Arfeka. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And let's just go ahead and take a look at that one. Woo! <laughs> there it is. It's a little bit bright as I have uh, this light here. And as, I, as soon as I stop, stop moving here, then it's going to look more rounded. But that is one of the uh, big stars. It's this one right here, Alfica. Okay, and we're going to continue into the uh, constellation. And the next one is uh, YCRB. Uh, this one doesn't have a name itself. It's a double star, pulsating variable star. Let's send the uh, telescope there. We're very close. Uh, we're getting close to where um, Blaze Star is. Okay. And right now it's showing a little bit um, the roof of the Sky Dome, which is literally straight up, but at least I'm able to see this, the individual star. Let's go to the next one. And now we're getting close to the area, and this one is 10 CRB. This one it's a little bit smaller, and right here, somewhere right here, is the Blaze Star. Let's just go ahead and send it. Okay, very good. We need to wait for the uh, telescope to, to get stable as it's still moving very little but that is that star now let's go to e the rb or 13 crb we're getting close current and send aha uh -huh. now we're starting to see familiar things when i am right here close to I think I can see these four stars when I am trying to look at uh, the blaze star. And somewhere right here, this uh, palace, um, I believe these are the four stars that... Um, and let me just take a quick look where the uh, PCRB is. Mm -hmm. Right. And I believe these are the four stars that I can see there. But let me just send the telescope there and see what we can see because the other star is literally underneath. Okay, so we're starting to see a little bit more of the roof of the sky dome. This is right there on the edge. Now let me just go back to the blaze star, which is TCRB. And it should be pretty much underneath those, these two stars and these four stars here. And we're going to send the telescope. Aha, much better. Well, um, yes, this is exactly the same uh, what I got uh, three days ago. I've been observing and I believe it's this one here. They are pretty much right in the middle of the screen so I will think it's this one so it's still a dim little star <laughs> June 20th it's already 1130 p.m. not happening right now but um, I believe that's the star so we just have to keep waiting whenever take your time just, just take your time we can wait another eight years 200 years why not 